the Marlins trying to take two out of three from the San Diego Padres. And they will give the ball to Jesus Luzardo, who has been very good on his home mound. The Marlins are eight and three when he takes the ball. Asan Kim leads off this afternoon. Here's the three, two, swing and a miss. Got him swinging. He offered at a 97 mile an hour heater. He came up empty. One away for Fernando Tatis Jr. June's been very good for him. Not a swing and a miss, but a line drive right at Jonathan Davis in center. Tatis retired on one pitch. Here's Juan Soto. He goes to the changeup. That pitch has been working for Luzardo in this first inning. A 1 2 3 frame with a couple of K's. Joe Musgrove on the hill for your Friars. Coming off a great start in the Big Apple. Six and a third. He got the victory. Only one run. He did not walk anyone. Two outs, nobody on. The 2 2 from Musgrove. Reached four, bounced up the middle. Bogart's charging it short. He's got it. Off balance throw to first in time. And Musgrove with a very tidy 1 2 3. Bottom of the first inning. Head to the second in Miami, no score. Top of the second inning, Alexander Bogarts is batting. Luzardo strikes him out again, that changeup. It's working well. Well, we've seen good fastballs, but we saw a great changeup to Soto to strike him out. And a changeup here, there it is, the circle change. Here's a swing and a miss, set another changeup from Luzardo. That's four strikeouts now in the first five batters in the first five Padres that Jesus Luzardo was facing this afternoon. And a punch out. Another strikeout there for Jesus Luzardo. He strikes out the stri side here at the top of the second inning, and he has struck out five of six Padres that he has faced this afternoon. Welcome back. A scoreless ball game as we head to the top of the third inning. Very impressive so far for Luzardo, who has struck out five of the first six. It's Gary Sanchez, who provided the only offense last night for the Padres, goes after the first one here. Fly ball right field, long run. Sanchez, a sliding catch. Boy, he covers some ground out there and right. I love it. Sanchez robbing Sanchez. Good concentration. Yeah, look at the eyes. As Nola hits a weak ground ball, the first Gurriel's on it. He'll run it to the bag himself, and the inning is over. As the Padres go three up and three down here at the top of the third inning, and Jesus Lazardo has set up down in order the first time through the Padres' order this afternoon. Middle third. And the walk allowed by Joe Musgrove through the first two innings. Kyle, and there's ball four. And that's the third walk allowed by Musgrove. And they come back to back to the eight, nine hitters here in the third inning. The top of the order for Arise with runners on the corners. Arise goes after the first one, sends a fly ball to left. Still drifting back is Soto. Plenty deep enough to score Davis and Wendell with the presence of mind to move up 90 feet. One nothing on the sack fly. Top of the order in the top of the fourth inning for the Padres. Here's a drive to deep left field. De La Cruz going back at the wall. That's going to be off the wall. The ricochet is by him. Kim is going to round second, but pull it up. And he's got himself a leadoff double. That nearly got out of here to left field on the short wall. But Kim's got the first hit. It's an extra base hit for the Friars here in the fourth inning. Stolen base for Kim. Here's Fernando. As Fernando drives this towards the gap in right center field, that's going to get down and one hop over the wall. It'll be an RBI double from third comes Kim. And the Padres, just like that, tie the score one to one. Fernando Tatis Jr. drives in the run. I think that hit Juan Soto, and it did. To get into scoring position for the Padres, not the worst. Dixon lines it to center field. Davis is there. He makes the catch. Tagging is Fernando. Throw will go to third, and the Padres will take a 2-1 lead. For the count one and two, and the pitch from Lazardo is over the outside corner. Called strike three. So when it's all said and done, the Padres... Get a couple of runs on a couple of hits here in the fourth inning. They have a two to one lead. Probably could have been worse for Lazardo. 789 for San Diego against Jesus Lazardo. Padres getting their two runs in the fourth inning. Finishing in Miami. Here's a drive to deep left field off the bat of Sanchez. Back of the wall. It's gone. Gary Sanchez has homered again. His second home run in a Padres uniform, and it puts San Diego on top three to one. Two two swing. A miss. He got him with a good fastball. And sometimes, Gabby, you uh, got to go back to your roots and just blow 97 by somebody and get yourself an out. Bottom of the fifth inning for the Marlins. He'll be followed by Jonathan Davis and Joey Wendell here in the bottom of the fifth. Joe Musgrove is working with a two run advantage. The one, two, three, fifth inning for Joe Musgrove, who has sent down nine in a row. Head to the sixth at Lone Depot Park in Miami. Padres lead it three to one. Fernando Tatis Jr. leads off the sixth inning for the Padres against Jesus Lozardo of the Marlins. That's ball four and a leadoff walk for Fernando. That is just the first walk handed out by Jesus Lozardo today. 
Called strike three. All those walks, you figure Soto knows the strike zone. But that one was close. Well, he got him with the slider. Fly ball, right field struck pretty well. Sanchez going back onto the track. He turns and it's off the bottom of the wall. Plays the carom as Tatis is stopped at third. Bogarts in the second with a wall ball double. And the Padres have been second and third with one away. Now Skip Schumacher is going to go to the bullpen. Brandon Dixon coming up here for the Padres. And it's lined into center field. That's in for a base hit. From third base comes Tatis. Bogarts will be stopped at third, and the Padres will take a 4-1 lead. So Brandon Dixon drives in his second run of the day for the Padres. Runners on the corners, one out for Cronenworth. Well, he's working that clock, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Ground ball back up the middle into center field. A base hit from third comes Bogarts with the fifth Padres run. Dixon on to third, and the Padres take a 5-1 lead. Cronenworth with the RBI single. Now Gary Sanchez, who homered. And finally delivers, but a base hit into center field. From third comes Dixon. Here comes Cronenworth from second. The Padres take a 7-1 lead. Gary Sanchez driving in a pair. He's driven in three runs in the game, and the Padres lead it 7-1. Base is loaded for Fernando Tatis Jr. Ripped a fair ball down the left field line into the corner. This could clear the bases. Two runs are in, and here comes a third run. It does clear the bases. The double gives the Padres a 10-1 to lead. Bottom of the sixth inning, and uh, oh, yeah, remember Joe Musgrove? He's in this game, too. Padres lead it 10-1. to He still has no hits. He's going the whole way. 2-2 two -two pitch is a ground ball. Left side, backhand play. Bogarts throw to first. Not in time. Uh -huh. That is a hit, and we don't have to worry no, about any of it. I mean, Bogarts did everything possible to try to get the out, but Arise just running hard down that first baseline, smelling the hit. The Marlins have the bases loaded to start the sixth. It'll be Jesus Sanchez. And here's Sanchez. Grounding went back to the mound. Must grow up to the plate for one. To first for two. Double play. One, two, three on the DP. Nicely done. Here's Guriel. The one, two pitch. And a swing and a miss. Musgrove strikes out Gurriel. So he works his way around. Three hits to begin the innings. 10-1 San Diego. Bottom of the ninth inning. Padres 10 and the Marlins 1 as this road trip is three outs away from coming to a close. And barring anything absolutely insane happening, the Padres are going to go 5-4. and four. Swing and a miss wow. and he strikes out Dela Cruz. On the ground and diving at second base is Cronenworth from one knee makes the throw. Nice play by Jake. Two down. Well, you can hit it anywhere, but you can't hit it to the crown zone. And here is Yuli Gurriel. This would be a series win, taking two out of three. Payoff pitch. Fly ball to left field. On the run is Ocar over towards the line. He gets there, makes the catch, and that ends the ball game. The Padres do indeed take two out of three from the Miami Marlins and secure the victory today. A blowout for the Padres today. A nice feeling as they beat the Marlins 10 to 1.